Welcome back, YouTubers and man fans. This is Man Money Shot, sniffing out the man cheese as always. Got another Man 22 preview video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over the superstar X factors that were revealed for all the running backs, wide receivers, and tight ends. Now, this is something that they started doing the same way they did the player ratings, where every day it seems like they're going to release a new position's um, you know, X factor. So, if you guys want to see me keep up with this line of videos, just like I've been doing with the, uh, the player ratings, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section, as always. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into this. So starting off with Double Me. Now this is an interesting one as far as the players that have it. Um, if you guys don't remember, Double Me's been in the game pretty much since Madden 20 when the X Factors thing started. Uh, it basically means that when you're in the zone, you can win aggressive catches versus single coverage of any kind, man or zone. So that's something that's very helpful. It's kind of easy to get knocked out of it though, in my opinion. One drop, one incompletion, or three consecutive non-targets. To get into this zone as well, you have to complete two passes where the ball's in the air 20 plus yards. These are all the same as they were in Madden 21. Now going down to the actual receivers and tight ends that have that, uh, number one, uh, Travis Kelsey, that's a guy that makes sense. Devontae Adams, that's a guy that makes sense. DeAndre Hopkins, these are all guys that make sense. Mike Evans is somebody that I question. He's not somebody that necessarily gets a ton of targets based off of the fact that he's in an offense that spreads the ball around and has so many receivers. But without a doubt, he is a great player. I'm not saying that he doesn't deserve that ability, but he's definitely the lowest rated. Out of all of these players, he's the lowest rated player on this list. He's a 91 overall. Julio's a 95. Travis Kelsey's a 99. Devontae Adams is a 99. And uh, DeAndre Hopkins is a 98. So I don't know if this is something that he recently acquired, but without a doubt, out Mike Evans, especially on that offense, even in Madden, I can't imagine force feeding the ball to one particular guy. But if you do get Mike Evans into the zone, he's probably going to be a real cheat code to just basically send him deep uh, and try to, you know, complete some very big passes. So next up, we have max security. Now, this is something where essentially uh, if somebody gets into the zone, they'll have a high success rate on possession catches, which is obviously uh, very helpful. Uh, the trigger is four consecutive receptions. I don't know if that means four consecutive plays. I don't know if that means four times you throw at them, they catch it all four times. I'm not 100% sure about that. I don't necessarily use max security very often, uh, but that's not very hard to do. If it is just four consecutive receptions, you just basically send you guys on drags. They pretty much always get open, uh, you know, zig routes, whatever. There's not a lot um, to, to really, um, you know, I could run drags for four straight plays and probably get any one of these guys into the zone. As far as the knockouts, pretty much the same. One drop and incompletion or three consecutive non-targets. Uh, that's probably the most important part, three consecutive non-targets. If you get a guy in the zone, you basically have to feed him. As far as the players that have it, Michael Thomas and Keenan Allen make a lot of sense. They sound like those type of, you know, security blanket receivers. Uh, but Amari Cooper, I don't really think of him. I think of him as more of an explosive, maybe like a route running type of receiver. Um, I, it's weird to see him here because he doesn't really see, sound like security blanket to me. I would have thought a guy like maybe Darren Wall or some sort of tight end maybe would have security blanket because that's what you typically hear. And then last but not least, I mean, we already have possession catches. We already had aggressive catches. Of course, we're going to have rat catches, which I was under the belief that rat catching wasn't going to be as prominent in the game as it was in years past. But if you have rack them up, apparently it will be uh, pretty much the same thing. You're just going to win rack catches against single coverage. This one, though, you have to get three receptions of 20 plus yards, which is different. Uh, and it also, I'm pretty sure it's 20 plus yards in the air, although it only says 20 plus yards. Then it says knockout, uh, one drop, incompletion of three consecutive non targets, which is pretty much standard at this point. Then you see the guys that have it. Stefan Diggs has it. Uh, Tyree Kill has it, and that's pretty much it. You're going to see the guys that have, you know, these are basically, uh, you know, speed guys, deep threat guys. Then next up, we have Yak em Up. This is basically, you know, you have a, a, a higher chance of breaking the first tackle post catch. Uh, pretty much all the same things. Triggers three plus, three 20 plus yard receptions, and to get knocked out, one drop, one incompletion, or three consecutive non targets. Uh, here's Darren Waller making a, uh, you know, making an appearance. Once again, I don't necessarily think of him as a guy that breaks a ton of tackles, um, but, you know, I'll go with EA on that one. George Kittle, though, I definitely do. He's the only other guy uh, to have this. He's definitely a guy that's a tackle breaker. So let's go and let's move on to running backs. The first one is ankle breaker. Now, this is all about 
backs that catch passes before they, you know, once they catch three 10 plus yard receptions, uh, increase fake out rate on skill moves following the catch. So, you know, pretty much the same as the receivers, three consecutive nine catches, a drop, and incompletion will knock them out. Uh, and the only person that has that this year is Christian McCaffrey. Now, I would think somebody like Alvin Kamara would be a very good option for something like this, but I know he typically has satellites. Next one up is first one free, a uh, high fake out rate on the next juke spinner hurdle, three rushes of 10 plus yards is how you get it, and you get knocked out if you get tackled for a loss. That one, this is probably one of my first, my personal favorites, because it's hard to get tackled for a loss. So, Dalvin Cook is the first guy up then you also have um saquon barkley and those are the only two now like i said once again there's a lot of running backs that i could think of that could definitely um uh, you know have this except we have freight train this is you know basically uh increased chances to break the next tackle um, all you really need is three rushes of 10 plus yards that's pretty easy and the knockout is tackle for loss this is another good one that i use quite a bit uh derrick henry he's the epitome of that you can see he's the first card on the board uh and then ezekiel elliott is the only other one to have that uh, which he, you know, I don't, I don't know if he still should have an X factor at this point, um, but you know, that's that would probably be the most fitting for him, uh, without a doubt. He's a guy that if he doesn't have a big year, it wouldn't surprise me if he lost that X factor pretty quick. And then of course we have satellite, like I was saying, it is Alvin Kamara. Spoiler alert. Um, but this is, you know, winning rack catches against single coverage. I, I don't know. To me, rack, to me, satellite's not necessarily one of the best to have. Um, I guess he has his own. <laughs> I guess the gate made but their own specific one for him. But uh, without a doubt, I mean, I, I'd much rather have him uh, the same category as Christian McCaffrey and being able to break the first tackle after a catch. Moving on, you got Wrecking Ball. Uh, wrecking Ball is basically a high success rate of the next three trucks or stiff arms. That's a really good one to have, but I, I always am, am funny about these high success rates because you never really know if you're going to get the results. But three rushes of 10 plus yards gets you into the zone and the tackle for a loss takes you out. And then the guys that have it are basically just Nick Chubb. Now, this is a guy, too, once again, I could see Derrick Henry. I don't see a huge difference between this and what Derrick Henry has. But ultimately, I think I'd rather have the next three trucks or stiff arms. Uh, but Nick Chubb is the only guy that has that. So that's it. That's the list. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.